Welcome back, everybody. I'm Zach, and you're listening to New Angle Sports Talk. And today we are reviewing the draft profile leading up to the 2019 NBA draft for Bryce Brown. Uh, Bryce was a dead-eye shooter and an elite scorer for the Auburn Tigers. Uh, But before we get started, guys, as usual, be sure to go ahead and hit that like button and remember to subscribe to to see more videos just like this. So let's just jump right into it, guys, in this recap, because I'm pretty pumped about Bryce Brown out of Auburn. Bryce is six foot three, about 198 pounds or so, senior, who's exactly the type of player that you want on your team if you need shooting. So if your team needs shooting, that's this is probably the guy for you. If you did check out my draft review or draft profile review for Carson Edwards, they these guys are a lot similar. Carson Edwards was the guy out of Purdue, um, who I just reviewed, like I said. But Bryce Brown is taller, um, but he isn't as heavy. He's not. He doesn't have as much muscle mass as Carson Edwards does. However, they both played great this past year in a winning culture. Now, Bryce is a very, very good scorer, especially from the three-point line. Uh, Bryce matches that intensity with his on-ball and per- perimeter defense as well. However, his shooting is really the name of his game uh, when you think of Bryce Brown. Bryce is effective on both sides of the court because of his elite footwork, if you've seen that and his ability to kind of get around screens on defense, so avoiding picks and dodging them as well. But also on the offensive side, his footwork when he comes off of picks as well is very good. That puts him in the best position to shoot a three and knock down that three as well too. But don't get me wrong as well, because he can also just rise up and shoot. He doesn't need a pick to get him to get him free or anything like that. He's got good ball handling skills and things like that. Bryce's biggest growth area is his playmaking and also probably his court awareness as well too. Uh, he probably isn't going to be your primary ball handle- handler on any NBA team unless this changes, which I'm pretty optimistic. So I think he, he could develop into that role for sure as being a ball handler as well. He did, But the problem is he did average 1.9 assists and 1.7 turnover ratio. That's not, that, that's not going to fly in the NBA. I think if he gets drafted to a good organization and he can develop behind an elite point guard, maybe like Chris Paul, Damian Lillard, Steph Curry as well, you can really see his growth expedited in his playmaking ability, his court awareness, like I said, his ability to uh, find the open man, not, 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 not force anything either, because that's key as well. I think that really improves a lot if he gets drafted into the right organization and if he really makes out a part of his game that he wants to improve. Now, some of Bryce Brown's uh, biggest matchups this year, to name a few, he played Kansas in the second round finished with 25 points after shooting 7 from 11 from the three-point line, so he's very efficient. Um, in his Elite 8 matchup with Kentucky, he scored 24 points on 4 of 7 shooting from three-point. Again, very efficient as well, too. But one of his largest scoring outputs was actually against Dayton, where he put up 34 points on 6 of 13 shooting. Now, we all know that Auburn played in the NCAA championship last year, the championship game last year, but he only scored 12 points. But he did go 4 of 10 from shooting from three-point line. So that's what I'm talking about, how he just specifically likes to shoot and finds his, finds his shot at the three-point range, where a lot of times he's probably going to knock it down as well, too. A few more things that I wanted to let you know about Bryce Brown is that he was also Auburn's leading scorer last year and was honored with the SEC second team two years in a row. So he made the second team two years in a row. Uh, oh, and also, yeah, I forgot to mention this as well. He was also named SEC Tournament MVP as well. So, And this was this past year. So elite performances all year long. That's how you get those awards. So um, let's take a quick look now and check out his averages from last season. So as usual, I'll go ahead and put those on the screen as well. Uh, Bryce Brown ended with 16 points per game, 2.1 rebounds, 1.9 assists, which we've already talked about the assists a little bit. And, of course, he shot 44% from the field. Again, a lot of his shots come from the three-point range, so if he's shooting 44 as a total, that's not bad at all. The thing with Bryce Brown is he can really score from just about anywhere, but again, he really brings his three-point shooting to any team that he plays, so that's what he really likes to focus on. Now, don't get me wrong, he can definitely score around the basket as well too, and he's a good finisher, but he really, really likes the three-point ball a lot, and that's what's probably going to keep him on an NBA team next year. Now, to give you some kind of context about his numbers that you just saw on the screen there was... Bryce wasn't highly recruited out of high school. His only major conference offer was also from Auburn as well. That's probably why he went. 
Uh, Bryce has steadily improved his game though throughout his career with Auburn and ended last year with about with career highs in, a, in every category just about with points, rebounds, assists, steals, minutes, field goal percentage, and of course three point percentage as well too. Now obviously he's still got a long, long way to go with the assist to turnover ratio like I mentioned, but the steady improvement is something that I think NBA teams will consider and will really kind of take into consideration whenever they're thinking about using a draft pick on him. Now he is undersized like I said, um, and he does come in at age 21 or so. Uh, so compared to other prospects, he is a little bit older. But if he keeps building and can keep finding out his role, especially in when he gets to the NBA, I think he can come out, come out, and end up being a three-point specialist for a lot of teams. And again, who who doesn't need another three-point specialist? I know that I'm in Oklahoma City, so I know that a lot of my Thunder fans here they desperately need a three-point shooting this year. Again, they if they've got a pick. I don't actually remember where Thunder is going to be picking this year in the first round or maybe second round, depending if he falls. But it, this is maybe a guy that you want to consider. This is probably a guy, if you need three-point shooting, who can come off the bench, get, light that up for you, especially his first couple years in the league, go get him. But with all of that being said, my player comparison for Brown is probably Seth Curry. Now, Seth didn't come into the league with good defense, but he was very consistent from the three-point range. But Seth's defense came in later, so he... Now it's not even that bad at all. I'm, if you're watching the Portland-Denver series that's going on right now, when they bring him in, there's it's not like it's defensive liability at all with him because he can stay in front of his man. He's got good footwork, and he doesn't fall down a lot. So he's able to kind of pick out that role for him with 3 and D, is so, is, which is so sought after in the NBA. And I think that's exactly what Bryce's Brown, Bryce Brown's um, game plan needs to be, is to be a 3 and D player, and he can, he can make some money in this league. And really for a long time as well, too, because I don't think the three-point game is going away anytime soon. So every team is going to need that, and he's going to get a good role for him. But that was my recap, guys, for Bryce Brown out of Auburn. Uh, I know it's a little bit shorter than in this one compared to the other ones, but I feel like it was really easy to talk about him, so I was, I was able to kind of go through pretty quickly on, on what he was all about and things like that. But um, as always, thanks for watching, everybody. Please remember to hit that like button to show your support. Remember to subscribe to see all new videos just like this one. And remember to leave a comment on your thoughts on Bryce Brown and his future NBA success. Thanks, guys.